the theorem of Fourier tells us that our Fourier series converges nicely to our original function f of x as long as f is continuous. On jump con discontinuities, however, something else happens. Let us see how this looks in an explicit example. So here we have our f of x. So we set it to zero between minus l and zero, and then we jump to l like that, and we uh, do this periodically, so we get a function like that. So. Okay, so there we have our f of x with a just j jump discontinuity, of course, at x equals zero. Let us compute the Fourier series, let us see how it looks, and let us especially take a look at what happens there at the point where we are jumping. So let us compute the coefficients. Well, the a0, as we know, 1 over l integrated from minus l to l of the function f. Uh, now, the function f is 0 from minus l to l, so we only have to integrate from 0 to l, and there we have to integrate l. So we have a 1 over l times l equals 1, and after integration we get a factor of l for our a0. Then we compute the a n, a 1 over l, integrate from 0 to l again, because between minus and 0 we are 0 anyway, between 0 and l we are l, and we have the cosine over here, we integrate, we get a sine, plug in the boundaries, you get a sine of n pi, which equals 0, a sine of 0 equals 0, so the other a n's are 0. Moving on to the b n's, again a 1 over l, only have to integrate from 0 to l, because from minus l to 0 we are 0, from 0 to l our function is l, we multiply with the signs, we integrate, we get a cosine. Plug, uh, plug in the uh, boundaries, on the upper boundary we get a cosine n pi, on the lower boundary we get a 1, so cosine n pi minus 1, or 1 plus minus 1 to the power n plus 1. And you already see that for uh, odd n this will give us a 2, and for even n we will have a 0. But we can just leave the bn's as is over here as well. Then we have our f hat of x, the Fourier series corresponding to our f of x. We have a0 over 2, the l over 2, plus the series with the signs. Then over here, I plotted already quite a lot of terms, I think 10 or so, the first 10 coefficients. And you see we nicely jump from 0 to l. In the program, I set l to 1. And halfway at the jump point, we indeed so the, uh, pro uh, get this one half. So we get the uh, one halves halfway and then jumping from 0 to 1 and from 1 to 0 back. Now let's see whether we can make a better approximation because you see it's still quite wiggly. So do the same trick but now take uh, the first 50 coefficients and you see it already gets uh, uh, a lot better, approximate, approximate a lot better. Uh, so you see, uh, 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 our approximation is already quite good, apart from the point where we are jumping. And uh, that is sort of the bad news. Also, at the point where you are jumping, you will still make these overshoots. Uh, you cannot do much about it. Uh, also, if you would take more and more terms, you just keep the overshoots. It's called the Gibbs phenomenon. But apart from that, uh, your Fourier series really approximates nicely your original function even if you have some jump discontinuity.